This is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com here with Motorola CEO Dennis Woodside uh, asking him five questions at CES. Uh, Mr. Woodside, what's the philosophical difference between the Google experience and the Motorola experience considering that you are owned by Google? Well, I think, first of all, you know, what we've set out to do with Moto X is provide a very pure Android experience while also enhancing it in ways that you can only do if you have uh, control of the hardware and the software. So a good example of that is touchless control where you can just say, OK, Google now, and the phone will make a call. See, there you go. Make a call for you uh, or send a text for you. That required real deep integration of both the hardware and the software. So we think the Motorola experience is, is really about bringing the best of Android to, uh, to the smartphone consumer. It's also about affordability. So Moto G, very affordable product. Moto X now at $399. Unlock, no contract in the US, very affordable product. Okay, now one of the things I really like about the Moto X is it's, I mean, it's so elegant, the software is so well designed, uh, but it doesn't lead in specs. Now, I personally don't care, it's my favorite phone right now, but how do you move the conversation in the Android world beyond these spec battles? Well, I think it's starting to move. People who have tried Moto X love the product. Uh, we're on 30 best of 2013 lists from you know, critics around the world. Uh, and consumers are starting to realize that, hey, I, I, what I really want is a smartphone that has a phenomenal experience, easy to use Android device, isn't uh, loaded up with a lot of features that I'm not going to use and that just slow the phone down. Consumers also want the latest Android operating system that's out there. That's why we upgraded Moto X and Moto G to Android 4.4, KitKat, uh, faster than any other OEM, beating everybody else by a matter of months. So we think that there's, there's experiences that we can deliver uniquely uh, that are, are very different than what our competition is doing that, that don't depend only on specs. Now the Moto G is an amazing value for $199, but here in the US the carriers are saying that LTE is essential uh, very often. When are we going to start seeing LTE phones uh, at the Moto G's price point? Well, first of all, carriers actually love Moto G. So just in this past week, Moto G has become available on Verizon uh, for $99 and uh, on Boost Mobile for $99 after a refund. That's, that's no contract. It's an amazing price. And if you think about families, families don't necessarily want to have four very high priced devices on two year contracts if they're trying to provide phones for their teenage uh, children. Um, lots of people can't afford a two year contract or they can't qualify for a two year contract. So we actually think Moto G, it's a 3G phone but has HSPA plus speeds, uh, is something that consumers want and all the carriers that we've spoken with, most of them are really excited about the product. Now that said, we know that LTE is important for some and clearly we, we haven't uh, lost sight of that fact and we'll, we have nothing to talk about right now, uh, but it is something that's interesting for us. Okay, now I've also heard you say that your product is the mobile web in general. Yeah, it is. How do you see that delivered beyond smartphones? Well, we're going to have to see. I think the most important thing right now is to continue to provide smartphones that have amazing value at amazing prices. So. There are five billion people in the world who don't have smartphones today. There are many people in the U.S. Who, who still can't afford smartphones because the prices are too high or they can't get the contract, they don't qualify uh, for, for the, or pass the credit check for, for the phone. We think that that's a huge unserved market that we're going to continue to pursue with Moto G and with future products. And now finally, Motorola, of course, has this long storied history. What do you think was the most important product that uh, Motorola released before you arrived? Well, I think that, you know, the product I think about when I think about Motorola is actually the StarTac, because I remember uh, seeing somebody at a cafe pull out a StarTac, and I thought it was the coolest thing that, you know, someone could make a phone call on such a small product, such a small phone, uh, and then just stick it back in, in their pocket compared to the big brick phones that, that were uh, pervasive before that. So I think that was a pretty cool product. It showed the world that, that Mobility can be cool, and uh, and here we are today with with uh, phones that are made out of bamboo, uh, which we think is pretty cool as well. Well, thank you very much. That's uh, Motorola CEO Dennis Woodside here on PCMag.com. Thank you.